Welcome back to the Innovation Series. Uh, I'm joined here today by Bill Haraka, the Business Development Manager uh, for Robin Radar. Bill, welcome. Thank you, Jack. Thank well, you for having please. us. Oh, absolutely. Uh, firstly, please tell us where you are and, and, and what are you up to? Yes, uh, today we're at a, a military base uh, somewhere in the Netherlands and we're going to provide you uh, footage of our radar systems uh, that are fully operationally used here. Um, these systems are used not only at military bases but also at civil airports, at prisons, at oil and gas refineries and of course also in the maritime industry as well. So we're here to give you a sneak preview. Um, uh, we actually have two radars here. One of them is our uh, traditional Elvira radar, which has already been in the market for uh, since 2017. But what we're also going to show you today, and that's really a sneak preview of, uh, because a lot of people haven't seen that before, is the Iris radar. And that's the new flagship radar of Robin Radar. Uh, introduced in November last year and uh, we're happy to give you uh, uh, an, an overview of the radar and show you actually how small it actually is and how well it will look on different ships uh, out there. That's great. I mean the, the drone security and, and the privacy risk is, is becoming more and more prevalent at sea and, and I think to see it in operation it's somewhere like that. I won't ask you to disclose any more information about exactly where you are, but we'd love to see some more about the technology. So please. So which yes. unit is this? This is the Iris Raider. And mm -hmm. this is a full 3D Raider that can really not only give the bearing of the drone where it's coming from, but also the specific height information. So uh, this is a very important information because uh, you can point or slave a camera to that particular drone that is approaching you and you can actually see then what kind of payload this drone is carrying. Is this mm -hmm. a drone that will, uh, is, is just making pictures or video? Is this a drone that's carrying devices to, uh, to sniff your cell phone uh, ID numbers? Or is this a drone that is sent out to hack your uh, Wi-Fi router on your ship? and wants to have access to your IT infrastructure. You can so identify this, the specific threat. <clears throat> exactly, exactly. Of course, in combination with a camera, and, uh, uh, but it all starts with the detection. So the, mm -hmm. moment, the moment a drone is in the area, you just want to know about it. And I always say it's like a smoke detector. It will not kill the drone, it will not shoot the drone out of the sky, but it creates awareness that there is a drone in your area and this way you can take the proper, uh, proper uh, actions to go inside of the ship if it's a drone with a camera or if you see that the drone is carrying some other devices, uh, let's say to hack your IT infrastructure, then you know that you should be very uh, careful about, uh, you can, let's say, close up your Wi-Fi structure, your Wi-Fi uh, on board of the ship. So, sure. these, so, it's, so it's really about uh, awareness that there is a drone in the area. Um, and, and that's the main goal of having a drone detection system uh, on board of your ship. It adds to the complete understanding of the situational awareness for a vessel. Absolutely, absolutely. And you have a second uh, unit also. Yes, and actually that's, uh, uh, I will say, Elvira's uh, uh, big sister. And, and she actually paved the way in the industry. We have over 120 systems fully operational worldwide on different uh, locations, not only the protection at the airports, but also uh, VIP protection. Uh, we have royal families that are using Elvira, Elvira on top of the roof for privacy reasons. Uh, we have Elvira for, uh, within the oil and gas industry. And Elvira uh, is introduced to the market in 2017 mm -hmm. and is actually a 2D radar. So Elvira will give you the information that there is a drone in your area, but it will not give you the uh, height information. That's why uh, we have uh, uh, Elvira's little sister, Iris, who has that capability. And as you can see by the design, we have really uh, designed the Iris to fit uh, also from an aesthetic point of view seamlessly mm -hmm. on, bo on board of the ship uh, instead of having her big sister 
looking like a, I would say, uh, a, a water reservoir. Uh, so uh, we really took that into account uh, when we were developing this uh, Iris uh, 3D radar system. I think uh, that would be the next question a lot of the industry would have is, is can this be retrofitted to an existing build? Because I'm sure that it would easily be able to be incorporated into a new build. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, the idea is also to have uh, Iris and of course Elvira as an add-on to your existing security system. So mm -hmm. it will be like an additional camera. The only thing is it's, it will tell you uh, if there is a drone in the area or not. And um, uh, it's, it's, it's designed to be seamlessly integrated into an existing uh, security infrastructure using the same uh, user interfaces uh, without actually to having to train uh, the, the security personnel uh, specifically for this uh, uh, type of sensors. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really, we took a lot of things into account. Uh, we have been developing IRIS actually since 2018 um, uh, and uh, after uh, a num already a couple of years of, uh, uh, we always say two million cups of coffee, <laughs> yeah, and a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears, we uh, uh, we gave birth to uh, to Iris in November. That's wonderful, and I, I I feel that that is a seamless addition to a ship's uh, security system and information stream that really provides an overall picture. Yes. Uh, just to add to that, uh, Jack, uh, the iris is really set up in 10 to 15 minutes. And you can see, I will just point it here, you can see one cable coming out. Yeah. And it's, it's designed according to military STANEC, NATO standards, simply to also ensure that it will um, survive the harsh uh, environments. Uh, one cable and uh, uh, with an ethernet, uh, uh, mm -hmm. And on the other hand, and power all in one uh, cable, uh, and the software is just running within uh, 10 minutes, completely, uh, I would say, fully operational in 10, 15 minutes of time, um, as if you're connecting another camera to your, uh, to your security system. And off you go, and you, you, you have a complete situational awareness system, radar situational awareness system. Uh, with uh, with this radar, uh, giving you the alarm as soon as there is a drone in the area uh, to make you feel safer. And that's why we also say in our marketing, Iris makes your sleep better because mm -hmm. it really does. It's a 24 seven system that is operational and, you, and, and it's designed to work for 24 uh, seven without any interruptions. So the moment you have it on, the moment there is a drone in the area, it will give you the uh, notification and uh, you can do whatever you want to do to, uh, and take the proper measures. I, I think uh, there'd certainly be many vessels with uh, guests and crew that would sleep a lot easier knowing that, that there was that level of security. Uh, Bill, thank you so much for joining us on the Innovation Series and, and taking the time to show us. Um, and uh, please get in out of the cold and then uh, we hope to see you <laughs> next time. Yeah, it's minus uh, six here, Jack. So, uh, but we're surviving here in the Netherlands, so we're all fine. Thank you well, for having great us. To, that's great. To Thank hear. you for having us. Thank you. N not at all. Thank you. Cheers.